Well, welcome to our museum. The uh, resource has been used for, you know, many thousands of years here in the Miramichi. So, Meta Panagie, okay, and that's who they created this exhibit for us, so. It was as though I had stepped into the pages of the books I'd been reading. The faces, stories, gear, science, and the books that had guided my entire journey thus far. I think I have this book. I was in awe. Like ghosts, the past whispered from the shelves. Well, here's Ed Zern with Charlie DeFeo, companions fishing at Clearwater Junction Pool. Say Miramichi and Charlie DeFeo's name pops up. Charlie originated many Atlantic salmon fly patterns. Charlie defined the proportions of the classic Atlantic salmon flies exactly in his tying and his art. Long, otherwise known as EJ at the salmon camp where he guides, is a man of great recognition when it comes to New Brunswick guides. In his 80s and still going strong, EJ gathers a crowd when he tells his stories of yesteryear. First day back on earth. Every muscle. So, Ernie, how long have you been guiding for? Uh, well, I started when I was 18. And when I was in the service for 20 years, I guided on all my leaves. And when I come back out of the service in 1974, I've been here studying ever since. So uh, that'd be around 34 years straight again. So you said that you would guide when you would come back? Yeah. From, from being on, on leave? Uh, yeah, well, all my leaves, when I come home for 30 days or 60, I guided. And was that just your, was it like a cleanse? For you? Yeah, because I just love of the river. Right. Yeah. So to this day, what is the number one thing that keeps drawing you back to the river every day? Oh gosh, it's a salmon, but I, I, I go to the river whether I'm fishing or not. I go look at the water, check it out. And it's cold now, but I've seen more than snow fall. And she'd hold out, waiting for that phone call. But I'm home now, and I don't need no cavalry. The river say. Carl Wilson is a generational guide who now runs the century and a half old family fishing camp. My name's Carl George Wilson II. Um, I'm a guide here at Wilson Sporting Camps. Been guiding full time for seven years and uh, on the river my whole life really. Grew up uh, with EJ and I don't remember the first time I had the rod in my hand but I think the, I do remember the first salmon I caught was I was eight years old and it actually was in this pool that we're sitting in here. This one? Yes. Yeah, oh, yeah. were you with your dad? I was, I was. The pool was a little different then but they sent me way down to the end of the pool with a dry fly on and told me to stay out of the way and an hour later I have a 12 pound salmon on. And Hold on, you caught your first salmon at eight on a dry fly? It was, yeah. In this yeah, pool? Yeah, in this pool down here, this big rock down here. And Standing on that big rock, not having a clue what I was doing and <laughs> throwing a, an old bomber around. And, and now you have an yeah. eight year old son? I have an eight year old. He's been... Uh, has he caught his first salmon yet? He got, he has, yeah. He caught, uh, he's got three this year by himself, just stripping the line out. And, we're on the back end, and he was lucky enough to get three <sighs> one day with us. So. I interviewed EJ earlier, yeah. and he is beyond inspirational. And I can tell by looking at you that your eyes sparkle yeah. when he's speaking. Yeah. So I know he inspires you as well. He does, for sure. Tell me a little bit about your relationship with him. You know, EJ's been part of our family. You know, he's he grew up with my grandfather, and... Uh, 
and worked with and for my father and and I'm really fortunate to be able to spend time with them. He's, both my grandfathers on both sides of the family passed away when I was just a young kid so EJ has really you know been a grandfather figure for me for years and always took us out fishing and always had us on snowmobile trips and in the winter time and and was a part of the family he's not just a just another guide or another employee he's, he's really part of our our heritage and uh, we're really lucky to have him there's not a lot of guys like EJ left and uh, and uh, we can learn a lot from him so would you think of fishing when you were on the road and think about coming back to you it? Yeah, I always thought of fishing. Did that help get you? And the thing, the horrible thing, you beside yourself, I'll not likely get to fish the very machine again. Right. Oh. <laughs> you know, that's, that's the danger of the whole thing. This is a little tough for me because, because it, you bring back some memories, eh? Does it make you just appreciate what you have right now so much Definitely. more? Definitely. And you still have Juanita? Yes, sir. One of the best. <laughs> yes. What was it like coming home to her the first time when you realized you didn't have to go back? Big relief. Yeah. And you don't think about when you're going to quit. You just go by day by day. Look forward to the next day and you'll end with a happy life. As I watched glimpses of his past flash through his eyes, tears welled and silence conjured up memories. My day with Ernie was special and it pained me to know that I might never spend time with him again. It seemed the river had a way of bringing us all together and while many of us had other companions, it was her alone who had the power to heal us on a level far beyond our own comprehension. From a war veteran, to a generation guide, to a girl who sought romance in the river's current, that day, we were all one and the same. The river saved me.